Hi, I'm Amber Nolan with the ELSA product team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through some basics about ELSA and provide some information about how we support our ELSA users. ELSA is an online authoring tool that allows you to seamlessly create and update content and ensure that accuracy and consistency of your content is maintained. ELSA's publishing assistant also allows you to easily track progress and is accessible by all chapter members. In order to get started using ELSA, you need to be invited to a project. If you have not yet received an invitation, first try checking your spam folder and then reach out to your Elsevier point of contact. Now let's get started. When you click into a project, you'll be taken to the project overview page. From the project overview page, you can see a list of all chapters to which you have access, including any front or back matter, due dates, as well as current workflow stage. Editors and authors will see all of the project chapters, while contributors will only see chapters to which they are assigned. From here, you can also send chapters in the workflow. You can perform these actions from the icons at the top of the page and also by clicking on the three dots, which will launch a More Options menu. Editors and authors will also notice that they have the ability to send emails and assign a designated editor for a chapter. At the top of the page, under the project name, you can access the table of contents where you can create, add, or remove chapters and add project contributors. What is entered here will feed into the auto-generated table of contents, which is a read-only version of the table of contents listed along with the project chapters and is sent to our production teams. To begin making changes to the table of contents, click the Edit button. To add chapters to the table of contents, click on the Add Chapter icon in the toolbar or in the More Options ellipsis menu. To add front or back matter, click on the Add Front or Back Matter icon in the toolbar. To edit or delete a chapter, click on the More Options menu on the chapter and select Edit Name and make your edits on the next screen, or click the Delete button. ELSA automatically renumbers chapters, so if you need to change the order of your table of contents, you can drag and drop, select Move Up or Down from the More Options menu, or use keyboard shortcuts to make the change. If you need to add contributors, click on the More Options menu on the chapter to which they should be assigned and select Add Edit Contributors. Note that only those assigned an author or editor role can add contributors or make changes to the table of contents. From the next screen, you can select an existing project member or create new to add someone for the first time. Enter their information on the next screen and click Create. You can then select Next and Next on the following screens. This adds the contributor to the chapter. To send their invitation, you must click Publish an Invite. The contributor will then receive their invitation to the email provided in ELSA, you'll write and make edits to your chapters in the right space. It is important to note that currently only one person can work in a chapter at a time for privacy reasons. If someone is currently working in a chapter, it will display on this gray banner here. To begin editing your chapter, click the Edit button. Once you're editing your chapter, you can see you have lots of options to add, edit, style, and update your content. You can start by typing directly into the document, pasting text into the document, or importing a Word document directly into ELSA by clicking on the Import from Word document icon on the top toolbar. If you're working on a previous edition, Elsevier staff will have imported your content already and it will be made available immediately. To add content such as figures, tables, and equations, look to the top toolbar. It's helpful if you familiarize yourself with what the icons in the top toolbar are for. Just hover over each icon to see what each icon does. You also notice the toolbar has two tabs, the Home tab and the Insert tab. On the Home tab, you will see options to format text track changes, import a Word file, and link any unlinked citations, while on the Insert tab you'll see options to add chapter assets such as figures, tables, boxes, equations, and callouts, and to add references. For example, if I want to add a figure to my chapter, I'll click on the Figure icon. 
I can choose figures already in my library or upload a new figure to my library by clicking on Upload and following the prompts. I can then create the in-text citation for my image by clicking into the text where I would like to add this, navigating to the toolbar, clicking on the callout icon, and selecting the correct chapter asset type from the drop-down menu. I then select the figure to which I would like to link and it will be automatically created in text. It is important to note that ELSA automatically numbers and renumbers chapter assets if they are moved or reordered. I can then add a figure title and a figure caption as needed. If you look at the bottom of your screen on the left side, you'll see a running count of how many words are in your chapter. On the right hand side, you can access the Publishing Assistant. To launch the Publishing Assistant pane, click here. The Publishing Assistant provides alerts for some actions that have yet to be completed, like missing figure captions, permissions, and references. If you click on the sections with alerts, you'll get more information about the alert and what you can do to resolve it. Many of the sections also include links to related help articles. The Publishing Assistant is not only a powerful tool to help make sure your chapter is ready for publication, but it's also a great way to learn how to use ELSA and what essentials you need to add to your chapter. One of the items that the Publishing Assistant tracks is references. In ELSA, you will want to build a reference library and create corresponding in-text citations, which we also refer to as linked citations. Linking your citations ensures that an accurate reference list is generated, which is important for when your project moves to production to ensure that your attentions are clear to our production team. To create your reference library, you can import an RIS or TXT file from a reference manager such as Mendeley, EndNote, or Zotero. Copy and paste your references in, build your references using ELSA's built-in reference manager, or import your references via a Word file. On the first tab, you will see your reference library. To use ELSA's built-in reference manager to create your reference from scratch, click on Create References. To paste a reference entry into the library, click on the Paste References tab and paste the entry into the Open Text field. To upload an RIS file, click on the Upload RIS File tab and select Browse to search for your file. Note that you may still need to link your references either by creating in-text citations or copying your reference list to the bottom of the right space and clicking the Link Citations icon for ELSA to search your document. If you need to edit a reference, this can be done by navigating to the Reference Library tab, selecting the reference you would like to edit, and then selecting Edit from the More Options menu on the three dots ellipsis icon. These actions can all be completed via the reference icon on the toolbar. To create an in-text citation once you have populated your reference library, click on the tick box next to the reference or references you would like to insert and select Insert as Reference or select Insert as Reference from the More Options menu here. The citation will then be added to your text. Once the citation has been added, you will notice a green check mark next to the reference, indicating that it is cited in text. Once you're ready to share your work with a co-author or another member of your project, such as an Elsevier staff member, you can do this via the Exit Chapter and Create Version buttons. By clicking on the Exit Chapter button, you'll see you have three available options, Exit and Lock, Exit and Send, and Exit and Unlock. Exit and Lock allows you to leave the chapter but keeps your changes private to you until you choose to share them. Exit and Unlock allows you to leave the chapter and creates a new version of it that is available for another project member to pick up. You should select this option if you are wanting to share your work with a co-author or co-contributor. Exit and Send opens the Send window so you can move the chapter in the workflow. Select this option for sending a chapter to an editor for review or to an Elsevier staff member if no further review is needed. Below the Exit Chapter button, you'll see the Create Version icon. 
Create version creates a new record of your chapter and moves you from editing to view mode. It's important to remember that a chapter is locked to you unless you choose to unlock, send, or version it. If you need help while using ELSA, you can find help articles, how-to videos, and other support resources on our ELSA support hub. You can also visit the support hub to get in touch with an ELSA user support specialist. To go to the support hub, click on the help icon in the upper right-hand corner of your ELSA screen.